In this lesson, we are going to discuss the pencil tool. Now, the good news is, is that the pencil tool is a lot more of a natural utility compared to how the pen tool is for other people. Meaning that every day, we're using a pen or a pencil, and we're just kind of pushing it to draw something out. And that's essentially what the pencil tool allows us to do. It's a lot more of a natural movement. So let's go over to here, where we're going to find all of our options here. We have our pencil tool, our smooth tool, and a few other options. And I'm just going to very simply choose the pencil tool. And then I'm going to take a look at my stroke color. And I'm going to take a look at my stroke width. So I'm just going to keep this at three. And very simply, I'm just going to go ahead and draw something out. So let's just say I wanted to have a little bit of, you know, texture on this drawing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag out just like that. Not perfect. Don't worry about it. Click and drag like that. Okay, and I'm going to kind of cross this over just like that and then come over to here. Okay, great. Now, these are all anchor points. So because I messed this whole thing up, I can very, very easily use my direct selection tool and then bring those back out. No problem. Okay, now what we're going to do here is also kind of cross these over just like that. And then maybe I'm going to join these together later on as well. And then maybe I'm going to kind of do this thing here and I'm just going to kind of go over do it just like that. That's great. Let's go ahead and do a few more. Let's come over to here. Just click and drag, click and drag. And I'll come across here. It's my mountains in the back. And I come over to here. So I'll be covered up with color momentarily. So it doesn't really matter. Come over to here. And then that's great. Okay. So very much how you think it might work. You just simply click and drag it. Now there are a bunch of options that we can do to then manipulate this. Okay. Just like I said earlier, we can very easily come in and I can use my direct selection tool just to kind of bump this up a little bit and move this around and do all kinds of other things to this. So I grab the anchor point, grab my Bezier handles, and then I can manipulate it just like you can with the pen tool and just like you can with any other shape. It's fantastic. Okay, now let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And let's just see other things we may want to do in terms of smoothing things out or getting on a little bit more fidelity, whatever that's going to look like for you. Now, if you double click on the pencil tool, you're going to see we get a bunch of other options here for my pencil tool as I'm drawing them out. Okay, so basically, if you're drawing out with your pencil tool and you're not getting the options that you want, you can make it so you're going to have something that's a little bit more accurate or a little more smooth. Okay, so before you draw it out, you might want to say, hey, listen, I always want it to be smooth. This is going to be more cartoony or this is going to be more accurate. So I really want to get much more precision on what I'm drawing. Totally, totally up to you. Okay. So if you do smooth, you're going to get way less anchor points. And if you choose accurate, you're going to get a lot more anchor points. Okay. Makes sense. Now, one thing I really liked, you can see here is keep selected. So as you're drawing it out, you may want to have it stay selected. So then you can move it around and manipulate it. Notice here is the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac, and it toggles to the Smooth tool. So we're going to do that in just a second, because notice how we have Smooth here, we have Smooth here. Well, when you hold down the Alt or Option key, it's going to allow you to very quickly go and smooth something that maybe wasn't so smooth to begin with. Okay, that's kind of important to know about. All right, that's great. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep this as is, just like that. And now let me just draw out another thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag out like that. And you can see how it kind of smoothed out my kind of jagged lines. Let me just kind of do a little rough thing right there and see how it just smoothed it out for me. See, I'm just going to oops, unsteady hand, bam, smooth it out for me. But now I'm going to hold down the alter option key. And you know what? Let's actually get it even smoother. See that how it just smoothed that out for me. Love that. Okay, let's do that again, but without really kind of drawing on anything. I'm just going to kind of just do like a little kind of a rough thing there. It smooths out for me. That's great. But you know what? Let's go ahead and double click. I'm going to make it more accurate this time. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of just go here just like that. Okay. That's great. And you know what? I kind of wish that was a little smoother. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and I'm right away at my smooth tool. Love that. And guess what? I'm getting less anchor points now and it's just smoothening it out. Love that. Now, if you wanted to use the smooth tool, you can very easily just go to the smooth tool itself and it essentially does the same thing. All right. Just what we just did there. 
I recommend using that modifier to hold down the alt or option key and then smoothing it out as you do it on the fly. But if you decide to do it later on, just know that the smooth tool is there available for you anytime you want. Okay, that's great. Now, let's take a look at this option here. Really, One of my favorite options is this join tool. Okay, so why is this so great and why is it kind of living in the same place as my pencil tool? Well, notice this little cloud here that's kind of drawn in a very sort of rough way. The join tool allows us to sort of correct certain things after we've drawn them out that maybe we kind of overdid a little bit. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And now I'm gonna come over to here to my join tool and watch what I'm gonna do. Very simply notice it's not even selected. I'm just gonna kind of touch these. And now you see, bam, I've done that. That's great. Come over to here, love it. Okay, come over to there. That's fantastic. Come over to there and boom, beautiful. Okay, and now I can select this, do whatever I wanna to do to this, add in a little bit of color. Okay, let's go ahead and add in that color. That's fantastic. I can then, if I wanted to, smooth this out a little bit more. I can even remove my stroke entirely if I want to, right? Just like that. Now it's just kind of a nice little floating cloud. Let's see what that looks like. Cool, and now I'm on my way to creating something. Okay, and it started off a little bit more rough, but using this fantastic tool, the join tool, I was able to get rid of some of those extra lines and now it's a lot smoother, okay? So there's really a lot you can do with combining a lot of these tools together, meaning the pencil tool, the smooth tool, and now finally this amazing tool, the join tool, right? For getting rid of some of those extra overlapping drawing points that you may have done with your pencil. So you don't have to worry about overdoing it. You don't have to worry about getting perfection, right? You can really just adjust it after the fact. Okay, so practice this, have fun, and we'll see you in the next lesson, everyone. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.